were Renee Moxley good? <laughs> and Chip Chip and Tully Rot and all that sort of bunk? Tom Tully Too! Yeah, whatever, Tully Tubbies, whatever the f do. Anyway, she's in the back with Chris Jericho, and they got the the crowd audio pop when they saw him on the screen and then they turned it down and muted it before anybody could do anything else in any other kind of reaction. So we still don't know how they're going to take him this week or next week or whatever. They're going to boo him. They're, they're not letting this thing go away. And they're not saying anything. I could tell you, I posted something this week that someone sent in who worked on the collision battle of the belt show in the building. They didn't work for AEW. They worked for the building staff. Yeah. And they were told on that sheet, according to what we were sent, no signs. Well, what was the exact phrasing? Nothing negative about Chris Jericho. Well, I... Yeah, Whose name I they was, misspelled, by the way. Yeah, well... And somebody online was a see, that's proof it's a forgery. They misspelled Jericho's name, you fucking nitwits. Remember when they misspelled the trademark application for their Saturday Night Collision show? Collision. Collision. AEW Collision. I think they still have that trademark, right? <laughs> yeah, well, and, and, and I bet it's safe. Nobody's going to fucking take it away from them. Um, but, uh, but also it was n nothing mentioning Kylie Ray, uh, nothing detrimental to Chris Jericho, uh, no Jericho slash Kylie Ray yeah. signs is what I've, I remember reading. But that, that's what they give out to the building personnel, the security, the old Andy Frayne ushers or whatever the security and door person company is so that they see these things. It's not posted up in the goddamn locker room. It wouldn't do any good there. Nobody in the locker room can prevent anything outside. Well, again, this is something that was sent to us by someone who said they worked on the building staff and uh, we checked it out. It appears he did indeed work on the building staff yeah. that day. And we're not getting any denials from the company or anything. AEW could say whatever they want. The only person in AEW I want to hear from is whoever deals with the buildings. Because that would be the person who communicated that. Right. The point is, this isn't going away. There are people thinking about it because there's no answer. And you're just supposed to accept these weird scenarios where either he runs out with his music blasting or he does a pre-tape in the back with loud fake audience noise behind him or they fight in the parking lot for 15 minutes eventually he has to be out there you guys got to say something you got to say something and the fact that you haven't said anything even the biggest aew defenders are like well I, you know why would you acknowledge this why would you acknowledge that everyone's saying that the guy may be a sexual predator or something or whatever they're accusing him of you got to say something it doesn't go away so that's the Chris Jericho promo. I mean, did you see him well, on Twitter this week? No, he wasn't back on Twitter. He was. He tweeted out, because I saw this the other day, you can't soar with the eagles if you surround yourself with turkeys. <clears throat> to which someone responded before he turned off commenting, did the turkey sign an NDA? <laughs> <laughs> and then no one was allowed to comment any further. Hey, he's stealing my old material anyway. With mean? the Rock and Roll Express, I'd cut the promo. I'd say, do you want to soar with the eagles or scratch with the chickens? Wow. He's a thief. Sounded better when I said it. Well, what he said here on this interview with Renee was that the tag team title was stolen from them by the Fallis family. They had Big Bill and Reggie Starks right where they wanted them, out in the mulch bed. And the Fallis family ruined it. Our boy Take hit him in the head with the the kendo stick, and then suddenly Matt Seidel, out of nowhere, comes in kind of awkwardly, and Matt Seidel, a great young athlete, but he can't cut a promo to save his fucking life. As Mama Cornette would say, he couldn't say Suey if the hogs had him. He sounds nasally and unconvincing, <laughs> and he told Jericho that Jericho needs to fight somebody that's beaten him before, like me. So now we've seen Seidel's a baby face. Last time we saw him months ago on this television program, he's not a big, ugly, loud, trash-talking heel that one might 
think that you would cheer Chris Jericho against it, it it's he's some little fucking baby faced looking smiley baby face and he tells Jericho that Jericho needs to fight him because he's beaten Jericho before I would not have a job guy come out on my television program and remind people, even if it was true that years ago, this little fucking jobber beat my top fucking star. Would you? Why? Could they're, they're promoting a rampage match and Jericho, oh, you're challenging me. Let's do it on rampage. The show that nobody watches. That's every promo. Every promo backstage with Renee on Dynamite is someone talks for 10 seconds and then someone else comes in, challenges them, or alludes to wanting to challenge them, and then the match is made for collision or rampage. Yeah. And, every time. And that Tony thinks that's booking. He said, well, now we're promoting the other shows. No, you're just listing endless matches that people don't care about and don't want to see just because they're good. Nobody wants to see Chris Jericho wrestle Matt Seidel. It doesn't make any sense, and it's not been the subject of a goddamn national campaign to make this match happen. It's just some random guy comes in that's not at the other guy's level. Oh, we'll fight on Rampage. That's why nobody's watching it. There's nothing carrying over, no issue, no personal issue or rivalry or any type of ongoing program carrying through these programs, he just makes matches and has guys blurt them out. That's not booking. That's and not that's booking. what this was. That's not booking. That's crap. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about crap or a box of crap. We're here to talk about a box of awesome. How's that you for know, a transition? That's exactly where you will get no crap. In your box of awesome. No, the box will contain awesomeness is all you're going to... And as a matter of fact, we got an even upgraded box of awesome this past month because remember the Weekender bag that I told you about, the fine Weekender bag with the canvas lining and the, the leather straps and buckles and everything that Stace was using as an art supply kit for her painting and art? Yeah. The one she got was tan, but we just got a navy blue one, the navy blue canvas that she loves even better, and she's given the other one to her friend that does art also, so they can be all arty, but these things are incredible, as is everything you get from the... Did you get the, the solid uh, cologne last month in your box of awesome? No, here's what I got. I have the card right here. It's the Soothe package. They sent me... And after midnight candle, they sent me blueberry scrub daily moisturizing lotion. They sent me rising moon and rising sun bath soaks and tranquility aromatherapy oil. See, because they know your special interest is you need to be calmed down. <laughs> well, Suzanne you're too, is, uh, you're too highly strung. Suzanne has rated it and she has uh, declared it hers now. Well, that's what most of the time, you know, we, uh, the box of awesome comes and your awesome spouse may co-opt some of it, but I, I got the solid cologne. It comes in a stick and you rub it right on instead of having to spray and there's less waste that way. And you can put it right in this little tin thing. Looks like a matchbox car and keep it your, you got cologne in your pocket, no bigger than a, one of those key holder type of things. It's an amazing invention. This is the kind of stuff you're going to get folks. In the Boxes of Awesome from BoxofAwesome.com from Bespoke Post, that's what you do, is you go to BoxofAwesome.com and you fill out a little quiz to tell these fine folks what your interests are and what kind of different things that you like. And then they release new items every month across a ton of different categories. And you will have access to stellar discounts across a plethora of of products 30 percent or more sometimes off on all this stuff than you would normally pay if you were just some mark walking the street but you're in the you're in the family when you sign up with box of awesome and you're supporting small businesses because 90 percent brian of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from as we mentioned before a small up-and-coming brand a mom-and-pop shop somebody trying to scratch by and make a living as best they can 
And these box of awesome people come in and swoop And help down them and out and do a good job of making sure their fine product gets taken across the nation to yes. many people, including the listeners of this show. Yes, they buy this stuff in bulk at a fraction of at what At a you fair pay. price it's to help mom and pop, and they and bring it right to you. And then they're shipping it out to and you. Go, you're paying almost nothing for this stuff that people work their what fingers to the bone to create. It's a deal. Let's not think about the fingers. Let's think about the hard work and the satisfaction from a good day's work. Well, they're certainly not going to give you the finger over at Box of Awesome. If you sign up with them, they're going to give you their box. And I'll tell of you awesome. what. Uh, that, that's exactly right. And it's awesome. I'll tell you what, I've, I've, I've rated a lot of boxes in my time, and these are one of the most awesome boxes. You know, there was that one girl one time went into bed. I never did see her wrestle, but I did see her box. Behind the dumpster. But nevertheless, it's free to sign up at Box of Awesome, and you can skip a month or cancel any time, but then if you, if you skip a month, you'll never know what you would have gotten. And right now, here's something else different than what we've normally talked about. You can get a free mystery gift with your first monthly shipment. So a, a free gift of some kind in addition to the Box of Awesome, so it'll be extra awesome. When you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code JCE at your checkout, that's how you get the free mystery gift. It's not only a mystery, it's free. So right now, uh, boxofawesome.com, the code is JCE for a free mystery gift along with your first monthly box of awesomeosity. That's right. Box of Awesome, not uh, Ocity, but... What is that promo code? One more time, Jim. JCE, if they don't know it by now, I don't know how I can potentially drive it into their heads any further. That's right. If you don't know it by now, go listen to Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Yeah. But back You're to never, never gonna know me. Oh. I wish I never met you. Jesus.